Hello and welcome back to another episode of Your Drone Questions Answered. I'm John Dicko with the Drone Launch Academy. Here to find the answers to your drone questions. These are questions that you yourself submit. Today's question is a pretty good one. It's getting to be that time of year and it's getting colder outside for many of us. And so our question is, what do you need to keep in mind when flying in extreme cold weather or during the winter? Today I have with me, I have Merrill McKee. He's the founder of Northern Perspectives. Merrill, thanks for joining us today. No problem. So Meryl, before we get into this question, how about you introduce yourself? Tell us a little bit about what you do with Northern Perspectives and your experience with drones. Sure. I founded Northern Perspectives a few years ago. I wanted to play with a drone as a toy, so I decided to make a business out of it so I could uh, justify the purchase. Mostly, I do a lot of real estate stuff. Today, I have a mapping gig that I'm going to be doing just a little bit later, so do a little bit of everything. I live in Northern New York, so a lot of times when people say, you know, they hear me say that I live in New York. They think of New York City. New York City is like a six hour drive. I call where I live almost Canada, New York. It gets cold up here. Yeah, absolutely. You're the right guy to talk to here. And so let's let's get into it. I'm sure, you know, it's not impossible to fly your drone in the extreme cold. And so what should pilots be keeping in mind? Yeah, absolutely. So especially the way that all, all of these drones have gotten better and better every single year, they are able to handle the cold a lot better. But there are definitely some things you should keep in mind. The first one that I like to talk about is to plan your mission, which is something you should do for every one of your gigs, every one of your your flying jobs. You should at least know where you're going, know what the weather conditions are and that kind of stuff. But it's even more important in the winter. Plan where you're going to park because we're going to talk about keeping batteries in yourself warm and, and you might want to be able to know where to take off and compared to where you're parking your car and things like that too. So planning your mission is probably the first and most important tip before you go out to fly. Excellent. Uh, this, the second thing that people really have to be concerned about is battery. So these batteries, we all know how advanced they are and every year they get better. They can last longer and you know, you can fly your drone longer, but in the winter, these LiPo batteries, they lose their charge quicker. So the first thing you want to do with your batteries is make sure that they're fully charged before you leave and keeping them warm is very, very important. If you leave them in your car and you're very close to your car, you can keep your car on, things like that. A lot of people keep them in their coat pockets and keep a hand on them or even put them in their armpit while they're, while they're waiting to change them from one drone to another. When you first put your battery in your drone and you start your drone off, you want to make sure to allow the battery to warm up inside the drone so you're not taking off immediately, giving it at least a minute or so before you take off to make sure that everything is, is good. And then also with the batteries, you, you want to monitor your flight, monitor your battery level a lot with your flight because, like I said, they do drain faster. So... Although if you maybe have flown in this place before, you, you could have gone a lot further for a lot longer. In the cold, you're not going to be able to go so far. So monitor your battery level, knowing how far away you are, your, your drone is, and always keeping, you know, visual line of sight is, is very important. The next thing is being prepared for yourself, making sure you have the proper weather gear, uh, jackets, you know, hats gloves. More recently, they have screen tip finger gloves, especially for, you know, if you're using a drone that you're using your cell phone screen or a touch screen. I know Spider makes a really good glove that you can actually touch your screen with. And then now keep your hands warm while you're flying and not have to worry about taking off your gloves. That's a great tip. <laughs> yeah. And then the other thing that I always talk about when you're flying out in the cold weather is pack extra clothes. If you do get out there and it starts snowing and you get wet, you might want to change your shirt and your socks or, or something you know, or shoes and depending on how that all goes. Okay. There's all kinds of extras we talk about with flying in the cold. I was not a big a landing pad guy. Uh, when I'm out flying, I like to hand launch my drone more often than not. And you know, if there's a crowd, they think it's cool and all that. You know, I'm, I'm really good at it, done a long time. But in the winter, having a landing pad to take off and, and land on is, is very important because the first time you go out to fly, if you don't have something to land on, you're going to try to figure out, do I have to hand catch it? Where am I going to land it? In the middle of the road, you're going to want a dry place to land the drone. So having a landing pad is very important. They sell battery warmers nowadays. I don't have one personally, uh, but you have, they have some that you can plug into your car and it'll keep your batteries at a good temperature. Hand warmers, yeah, they're all over TikTok shop right now. <laughs> yeah. Electronic hand warmers, uh, I actually just bought a pair because I'm taking my girlfriend and her daughter to a Green Bay Packers game in a, in a few weeks, but oh, wow. it's very cold. So you can actually take the drone batteries and wrap them in a cloth and put the hand warmers on top of the cloth. You don't want to put the hand warmers directly on the battery because you don't want to damage them. Keeping the hand warmers on the cloth on the batteries is going to keep them warm longer and make them uh, all that much better for you. I love that. 
Another thing that I just saw, and I've never seen this before, I started researching this for you today. Uh, they actually are making uh, for FPV flyers, these all-in-one gloves that you can put your hands in and the controller is inside of the gloves also. So that's one way to keep your hands pretty warm. Awesome. That is awesome. Wow. Yeah. The, the last thing that I really like to talk about with flying drones in the winter is a lot of people don't even realize that your camera settings should probably be different, especially with grayer skies, everything might look blue. So what they say is to increase your shutter speed, you can increase your shutter speed and overexpose by about 0.3 or 0.7 stop. And then on top of that, you just adjust the white balance. Typically about 6,500 Kelvin is a really good spot to adjust your white balance at. And by having those camera settings, you're going to be able to get the best picture quality as you're flying your drone in the winter. That's a great, I was not expecting a tip like that. Uh, and I'm really glad you said it because I, I would never think about something like, but there really is. I mean, you're shooting dead of winter, the sun, the lighting's different. The sun's kind of in a different place in, in the winter and it's very, very bright. The sun really reflects, if it is a bright day, it's going to reflect off the snow, causing all kinds of other issues too. So Meryl, these have been excellent tips. This could be a dumb question. Is there ever a, a time when it's just like, you know what, I'm, I'm just not flying and it's temperature related and, and really thinking about the drone obviously as, as us we can just say no it's just way too darn cold out here we're we're not doing this but when it comes to just the drone is it, could it ever just be too cold or so if you check your drones manufacturer settings they actually will tell you the proper temperature to fly your drone typically when they're giving you those settings you can say maybe another five or ten degrees colder it's still probably pretty good because they want to make sure they're giving you optimal temperature readings, you know, but up here in the winter, I mean, it can get to minus 10, minus 15, even minus 20 degrees with the wind chill factor. It can get pretty cold and drones are not going to do well in, in that extreme cold. There are some drones. I know the Matrice is built for it. The, the, the M300 and a few models, they, uh, they work really well in the cold because they're designed for that kind of a workhorse capability. But most people that are flying drones, whether it's the Air 2S, the new Air 3S, you know, DJI drones or Autel or whatever, most of those consumer-ish drones, you don't want to go if it's too cold for sure. So, yeah. And also weather, I mean, you don't want to, people don't think of snow like regular precipitation, like rain, but if it's a light snow, that's going to get your drone wet. And that could also affect the electronics and all that stuff. Yeah. Another great point there. Hey, Meryl, I really appreciate you coming on sharing these tips. It's a timely subject, and I'm sure that this is going to be the first time we talk about weather-related drone issues. And so I really thank you for coming on and, uh, and answering this question. And hey, if you got a drone question, we would love to answer it for you. If you got anything, we type it into ydqa.io. Go there. We'll see it. We'll find someone to answer that question. Or if you're part of the Drone Launch Connect community, type in the question there. Somebody in the community will probably get to it before I do. But hey, it always makes a good podcast episode. So please, Stay active in the Drone Launch Connect community. Till then, we'll see you in the sky.